Hello and welcome to this tutorial on co-injection of foam superficiency improvement in a heterogeneous reservoir using the CMG software. My name is Clever Sinisine and I'm a postdoctoral fellow with the Hibernia ERO research group. The objectives of this tutorial will be to demonstrate how to build a CO2 injection model to investigate the low recovery factor due to its pulse superficiency. Secondly, we implement foam injection using the empirical foam model in CMG stars. Lastly, in this tutorial, we will compare the CO2 and foam injection in order to see how well the foam injection improves recovery factor by an improved superficiency. The methodology we're going to use in this tutorial will be to build two cases. The first case will be on CO2 injection and the second case will be on foam injection. For the first case, we'll go through building a simple simulation grid with the structural data that we'll provide. We'll create a PVT data, define the relative permeability curves, set the initial conditions, define numerical sections, define wells, perform simulation runs for CO2 injections and anal analyze results. In the second case, we'll use the first case of the structural model that we build in the CO2 injection and add surfactants to it. We'll convert that case to a form model by defining interpolation parameters and IFT values, defining wall constraints and the compositions to be injected, perform simulation run as well, and analyze results by comparing the displacement front for case one and case two. Before we go into the practical sections and for me illustrating how to set up that model in CMG stars, it is important that we have an overview of form. Foam is just typically a blend of a surfactant, water, and gas. If you look at the diagram on the right hand side here, we realize that the liquid part of this um, foam is called the lamella, which is really stabilized by surfactants to prevent bubble coalescence. And lamella itself is basically water and surfactant at one particular concentration. Gas mobility control is one of the applications that we will be illustrating with this um, tutorial. If you look at this first diagram here, this is an example of CO2 injection. As you know, CO2 is very light in density and hence has the ability to move to structural highs of the reservoir. By doing so, it causes a phenomenon such as viscous fingering and early gas breakthrough. To improve this URO method, we do we normally do water alternating gas. And in water alternating gas, it's just a simultaneous injection of water and gas. Water alternating gas URO method or URO technique imp improves pure CO2 injection. As you can see in this diagram, the amount of sweep efficiency has been increased by, by just simultaneously injecting water and gas. But however, CO2 still has the ability to break or to go to the structural highs, leaving high zones of oil unswept. For foam injection, we can see that we have a, a more piston-like displacement based on the properties of the foam that we injected. Like I mentioned earlier, foam is just a blend of water, surfactant, and gas. In this case, the gas is CO2. Below here summarizes the importance and the, 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 the benefits of using foam injection. And we can see that it further improves the sweep efficiency, it reduces the gravity segregation as we are no longer seeing early gas breakthrough to the producer wall being here. And we have a smoothening of heterogeneity as we can see here through a more piston-like displacement. Control is one of the main foam applications we're gonna be demonstrating in this tutorial. KRG effort foam, KRG with no form and FM is the dimensionless form interpolation parameter. As can be seen in the equation, gas mobility control is modeled by using FM parameter to reduce gas mobility. As FM is always less than 1. FM on its own is a function of F1, F2, F3, F5, F6, F7 and F more parameters. FMOM is the base for mobility reduction without the impact of all other parameters. 
F1 models the impact of surfactant concentration, F2 models the impact of the leg phase, F3 models the impact of shear thinning. F4 models the impact of limiting capillary pressure, F7 models the impact of water saturation or the foam dry out effect. F5 and F7 are functions related to specific oil component and salt concentration effects. In many literatures, these effects have offered very minimal contribution to the overall performance of foam. Now that we know or have a background of the overview of foam, let's delve into star CMG stars to see how this model can be set up. See you in the practice session.